please discuss the advantages and disadvantages of going public as a company. Yeah. So it's a double-edged sword because when you go public, you raise a lot of money, which makes your employees money. And also you get a lot of capital in the IPO and the use of proceeds is to grow your business. The disadvantage is this, because you're publicly traded and you have to report earnings every quarter, companies want you to grow materially every single quarter. And so it makes you very, very short-term focused. And when you're very short-term focused, you, you can get sloppy with your long-term strategy. Uh, and so if you don't focus on, on the long game, you'll, you'll never make it big. You'll never put your debt in the universe. But the best companies to invest in are quite often the ones that the founders are running because they don't give a damn about what quarterly numbers are. So for example, Larry Page, you know, who was the co-CEO uh, at Google, of course, the co-founder. I have a good friend of mine who headed up investor relations back in 2004 when they went public. And I asked her, what's it like on the road show with Larry? And she said, Larry didn't want to give guidance or take that many meetings. And she was explaining to Larry, Larry, you have to tell Wall Street what your earnings are going to be next quarter or in the next year. And, and Larry said, why should I tell them that? That's their job, not mine. And so, you know, Google, is, it's a great company. It's very ethical relative to other tech companies. And they just think differently like Steve Jobs did. They're very, very long-term focused. And, and it's interesting because um, I remember the IPO Roadshow um, for, for, uh, for Google when they went public in 04, Fall of 04. And in the Fall of 04, they were on the road and they were basically telling people, our corporate strategy is don't be evil, which is cool. But they're so long-term focused, they don't care about the short-term investors that are trying to figure out what the next quarter is going to be. And when they raise money, they raise $2.718 billion dollars. And 2.718 is a magic number. It's the E exponent number as well. I can go there if you want me to use it for continuous compounding. Yeah. Uh, but um, no, you, you got to be long-term focused. If you go public, you got to tell yourself, I'm going to be long-term focused. Otherwise, what happens is the board of directors will be unhappy with you if you don't make your quarterly numbers and shareholders will be aggressive uh, and they will be activist investors. They'll, they'll get a board seat like Carl Icahn does and they'll fire you. Yeah.